Welcome back, mathematicians. Uh, in continuing our discussion about area, uh, we just want to build upon our knowledge that we learned from the previous video. We learned that a, a, a square that has uh, a side length of 1 is called a unit square, and that unit square has an area of 1 square unit. What we can do now is, in knowing that, we can then look over here at this shape right here, this is a polygon, a closed shape, a plain figure, a flat shape. We can look at this and we can actually find the area of this shape if we can, without, um, without overlapping, that means they're not on top of each other, or without any gaps between, we can actually take these, these unit squares and we can place them inside the shape without um, without putting them one on top of each other or without there being any spaces or gaps between and the number of, of unit squares that we can place um, that can fit in this plane figure this flat figure um, will actually be able to find the area by doing that so let me just switch gears here and make this an infinite cloner there we go we're all set now. Okay, so if I can take these unit squares, I can find the area of this shape. I can find the area of this shape here, this plane figure, um, this rectangle, by laying these unit squares down. And remember, they cannot overlap. So they can't overlap. See, that's overlapping. They're not going to overlap now. And there can't be any gaps. So I'm placing down three unit squares. Four unit squares. Five unit squares. Six unit squares, seven unit squares, eight unit squares. So I'm I'm just placing as I place these unit squares as I tile them over. You can think of this as like tiling. As I tile them over the shape here, I'm actually finding the area. So if I can cover the entire shape with the square units, um, and I just count how many square, how many unit squares I actually have. Um, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, I have 12 unit squares, then I can say that this, this shape right here, the original shape that I had, had an area, had an area, has an area of 12 square units. Now this right here is what we call our unit square. If I can place, if I can cover a, a, a plane figure, a flat shape, um, with unit squares, the number of unit squares that I actually place down to cover the entire shape will t also tell me what the area is. So the area of this shape is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve square units. So the area of this is twelve square units. The area of this rectangle that I placed down originally is twelve square units. Why? Because I can place down twelve unit squares uh, over the over the rectangle um, without having any gaps or without overlapping any of the unit squares themselves. So that's how you find the area, and that's essentially what area is all about.
placing the, a certain number of unit squares inside a shape uh, so that the entire shape is filled up without any gaps or overlaps. Hope that you enjoy.